Today we're in the Hocking Hills in Logan, the seat of Hocking County, and we're going to visit an interesting place called the Columbus Washboard Company. As you might guess, it used to be in Columbus, it's now in Logan. I want to find out how they make washboards and who today is buying these things. Washboards are a little out of date, but I guess there's a market for them, and we're going to find out why. Jackie, hello. Well, good morning. How, How are, are you? you? Good to meet you, Jeff Nice Darby. to meet you, too. Well, I've been for looking forward to coming here. Well, I've welcome about, to the Columbus uh, Washboard well, Company. I've heard about Columbus Washboard, and I'm always curious about history. Uh, when did it begin? 1895 in Columbus, Ohio. In Columbus, um, It's actually name. owned by the Martin family. In um, 1999, they were going to close it down. They didn't have the sales like we have today, and they had advertised that it was for sale, so a group of us got together and purchased it and moved it here to this old shoe factory in Logan, Ohio. So it was a Logan group that, that bought it, the company. It was. Kept the name because of the continuity exactly, through the years. Exactly, exactly. So I'd love to see how these washboards are made. Okay, well let's go do a tour of the factory. Follow okay. me. My, I see washboards everywhere. Oh, I know, and this is the main factory room. Okay. But we're actually going to start out in the wood room so that you can see how things are made. That's what I'm interested in. Okay, let's go. It's the uh, manufacturing process that's so fascinating. Well, we still use a lot of the old machinery, which is really neat. Oh, I, yeah, I, I can see. This little machine here was still used when we purchased the company. What it does is the finger joints on either side, on either end of the mm -hmm. head okay. of the washboard. Mm -hmm. This is Ohio poplar, so we're very proud to be using Ohio wood. So is poplar really all you use? It's a little harder than the pine we used to use, uh -huh. but it's actually um, more sturdy and, and it's more stable as a washboard. It's more durable when it gets wet. So this is a one at a time machine. Mm -hmm. This machine here will do 24 at a time. And we still use that one sometimes if we're doing one or two, but for a large amount, for our big orders, we just use this uh, machine. Now this okay. machine, this is one of the old original machines too. And obviously if you've got uh, finger joints in the head, you have to have finger joints in the leg. Mm -hmm. So this one does the finger joints in here. So there's a, there's a cutting blade in there yes. that cuts the slots. You can see the blades yeah. Yeah, and okay. you just push it in there. Once again, because we only have a small staff, we use this machine here and we can do 20 at a time in here. Okay. Yeah. Now this machine here, this is another important part of the process. Oh, let's see. We have to do rail holes, obviously. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yep. So this machine here is the original, but my husband took the low speed drills out and put high speed routers in here. And the action for this is that way, pull it to the side, that way, and then slide it across and it might makes a nice oval shape. Oh, I see. Shape okay, hole. so it pushes it pushes the piece against the yeah. tool. Yeah. Okay, it makes an oval shaped slot. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And this machine down here also does the same thing only on the smaller size. All right, let's have a look at it. Okay, so for the smaller pieces. Yeah. This is for the pale size washboards. So, how many different sizes do you make? We do small? 3. Okay. The family size, the pale size, and then we have a small mini size that we sell for children, little girls to do dollies washing <laughs> or just as an, uh, a decorative item. So these girls are learning in the old ways before mm -hmm. they get onto mom's washing machine. Yes, okay. they do. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll go into the factory and see how they're assembled. Can you guess how long it takes to put together a washboard? No, I can't, but I was going to say, I'm sure you can show the boys how to do this, too. I think we will. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. Anyway, in the meantime, okay. you can think about how long it's going to take. Yes. <laughs> The first machine I'd like to talk to you about is the old nailing machine, which is right here. You say old, so they're not in use anymore. No, no longer. Um, they were actually still in use when we bought the company, but they're really inefficient. But what it would do is nail in six places at one time, as you can see by this washboard we oh, have sure. in here. The top has, has a box full of nails, the whole machine vibrates. Then these nails come down these tubes here. Well, obviously, you can see by the turn in the tube that we would have a problem with it catching. That's where the inefficiency came yeah. in? Yeah, okay. so it's better to be more efficient, so we sure. changed to modern nail They had guns. a tendency to jam and not nail properly. Frequently. You lost time. Frequently, yeah, yeah. frequently. So Let's imperfect go on down. machinery. Imperfect machinery. No, <laughs> okay. it was perfect at the time, but... Yeah, but now it's better. <laughs> okay. Look at all these parts. These neat presses that we have here 
are still in use. These are the original ones from the factory. Um, the only thing we had to do was replace some of the woodware on there. And we'll step next door and watch Lisa put one together for All us. All right. Hi, Lisa. Hello. How are you? I'm Jeff. Oh, fine, thank you. Good how to see you? you. Can you guess how long it takes to make a washboard? I'm going to guess less time than I would think. That doesn't give me an answer. Uh, 30 seconds. Oh, that's pretty good. Most people say a minute. It's actually 45 seconds. Oh, so you did pretty good. Not bad. Okay, Lisa. She's going to put the head and the leg together, put it in the press. Then she's going to grab the nameplate and top rail. Then she's going to put the metal in, which we crimp here ourselves. Bottom rail. Then she's going to do the outside leg. She's going to give it a little tap to make sure everything's together. Uh -huh. And then she's going to nail it. At least I, I can tell you've done this before. <laughs> for how many years now? 13, 13 years. years. Good for you. Anyway, thanks, Lisa. There's a certain pun in the, in the name, of course. Uh, made right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll move down here. Oh, I noticed these before. These are printing, printing These drums? are the original dies for the printing press. Okay. And if you want to just have a hold of that. Oh, yeah, boy, that is heavy. It's lead and brass. I was going to say, yeah, it feels like there's and lead in there. And this is another machine that's really amazing, and it used to do all of the printing, but it got to the point where a lot of the dies were worn and really uneven looking. Oh, yeah, I can see what you mean. So we now do mm -hmm. a modern um, printing. The girls actually do it here at the factory. This is an example of some of the stuff that the girls do. Um, proud to be an American. Mm -hmm. That was designed for the soldiers. Sure. And Well, that makes sense. Uh, uh, American troops stationed These abroad, are, they, they would need something like this. They did, and we, they've used a lot of them. We've sent over 5,000 kits. Have you really? This is a selection of some of the ones that we, we print here. Rhythm board, that does not sound like washing. Music. <laughs> Music. <laughs> so that's part of your market would be jug bands, right? It is. Definitely. Good. It definitely is. Now, some people still use them for laundry. Mm -hmm. We do sell a lot of glass washboards in Bahamas and Hawaii because, obviously, if it's glass, it's not going to rust. And, right. and they have the sea air. Right. So we do sell a lot to them. Let's go down and look where we crimp the metal now. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's a big reel of um, mm -hmm. coil. Steel. Yeah, we usually buy a thousand pound roll, mm -hmm. exactly the width that we need it, and then it's fed through two rollers which are hidden under here. This is uh, what it looks like when it comes through the rollers. It has, um, oh yeah, yeah, it has a crimp. I'll show you this crimp here. This is called a double handy crimp, you can use both sides. This side is um, coarser, you feel that. This oh, is yeah. coarse. This is for doing like grass stains on your socks or the jeans. So and, that's what actually knocks the dirt the, loose. Right. And on the other side, if you feel that, that is a smoother. That's mm -hmm. where you do your lingerie. Okay. The smoother. I don't do my lingerie. No, but. well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and we sell um, two different kinds of metal now. We have galvanized metal, obviously, mm -hmm. and stainless steel, which the musicians like. Because the galvanized metal... If they're a serious musician, they'll wear through it in six months. Oh, sure. The but galvanizing if, is just yeah. a coating. That's right. But if they use the stainless steel, it's more durable for their... Right. And it doesn't yeah. rust. Well, this has been a great tour. I really appreciate it. And I've, I've learned things I didn't know, that's for sure. Well, thank you for coming. We really enjoy showing it off. We're proud to be the last washboard company in the United States. I had a feeling Still in that business. Was, I had a feeling that was the case. Uh, not too many companies like this. No, there isn't. And we are a big tourist trap for this area. We do have a we're a rainy day special place to I visit. I think that's great. Well, thank you so much for a great tour. Well, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. It was wonderful.